Oh my gosh, guys, within the past week, I spent $1,000 on gold and silver. And here's why. Well, you might as well call this video five reasons I'm buying gold and silver now. But I think $1,000 in one week sounds much better. So over the past week, I've been going real crazy on buying gold and buying silver. And I just want to let you guys know why I'm doing that. I have five reasons here that I'm actually bullish on silver and gold. And I wanted to share it with you guys, all right? But thank you guys for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle, where our goal is to help you guys create a better life by creating better health and better wealth. And you guys can also help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Don't forget to find me on my Instagram and Twitter, Urban Lifestyle 1989. Links are also found in the description below. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so that you get future notifications of my future videos. Let's go. I'm working for work, babe. So one thing that everybody knows about this channel is I'm rich, all right? I have tons and tons of money. There's so much money, I, I, it's like I don't know what to do with it. So I decided to buy gold and so actually, no, I'm lying with you, I'm not rich. I'm just a regular middle class citizen and I don't have as much money as I said before. Yeah, dog, I'm lying, dog. I'm rich as hell, man. Baby, what you doing with the rent money? Come on, baby, why you gotta, I'm gonna go pay it now. But the question still remain, why am I buying so much silver? Now, I did tell you guys, hey, I only put 10% of all my income, but now I have been bumping it up a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna be going over, letting you guys know why the sudden increase in the purchasing of precious metals. Let's go. So number one is undervalued. Silver itself is undervalued. It's at $14. I mean, come on, it's the best buy. If we were to look back in 2011, we would have seen silver over $50 an ounce. And the specific time, not the whole 2011, but there was one specific time where it was at $50 or over. All right. But right now it's at $14. It's a good price. And I feel like it's a good time to start buying. Especially when you put it against all the other assets classes out there like stocks, bonds, all that market, people tend to say, hey, it's in a bubble. Well, maybe not stocks. I don't believe stocks is in a bubble. But anyway, that's just my opinion on that. But the only thing I know that it's not in a bubble right now is the silver market and the gold market as well. Matter of fact, it's undervalued. Matter of fact, if we wanted to put it into a metaphor like a bubble, I'll say it's like in the, you know what they call them, jar. The jar that you dip the stick into and then you pull it out and then you start blowing it and then it becomes a bubble. Yeah. Silver right now is in that jar and hasn't been purchased yet to become a bubble in the near future. And that's why I'm buying. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Does it make sense? The second reason I'm spending the amount of money that I'm spending on gold and silver right now is because I don't want time to run out, which means right now I feel like it's undervalued, but I don't believe it's gonna stay undervalued for too long. I mean, maybe a year, maybe two years, maybe three years, maybe even four, who knows? I'm not sure. But at the same time, I wanna take advantage of the opportunity that we have right now. And guess what? If silver goes down even more, I'm gonna do like my friend Clever Coin say, and back the truck up. Um, what would you do if silver prices fell below 10? Uh, definitely back the truck up. <laughs> Cause I'm going in even heavier. Now the third reason I'm buying as much silver as I am right now is because only three to five percent of the populations are buying. That's a very small population. If you put it on the bond market, if you put it on the stock market, if you put it on any other investment, the real estate, silver right now is not just overvalued, it's underrated. And all the research I've done, but wait, this feels like a freeze moment. Don't catch me looking ugly now. Every time I freeze, I always end up looking ugly. But anyways, guys, I said research. Always make sure you guys do your own research. I'm not an expert, so you guys always wanna make sure that you guys always do your own research before coming up to a decision. Let's play this now. So the fact that silver is not just undervalued and it's underrated, mean that there's gonna be a point in time where it does get overvalued and overrated. And I just wanna make sure I ride the wave up. And that's one of the reasons I'm actually raising the amount of the money I'm spending to buy silver. Now, the fourth reason I went crazy and spent over $1,000 in buying precious metals in just one week is because I only want value cash. Now, what does that mean, value cash? It makes sense. I mean, it makes sense when I made it up in my head. But right now that I'm saying it out loud, it really doesn't make that much sense. But value cash meaning that, hey, every cash I have on hand that's not into precious metals and that's not into investment, it has to have some sort of meaning to it. Besides savings. Gosh, no, besides savings. If you guys want to know what I mean by that, you guys should definitely check out my video. I don't know the name of it, but I should have a picture around here. I mean, come on guys, I have 400 videos on this channel. I'm not gonna remember every one of them. 
Even though it's one of the videos that's bringing a lot of traffic to the channel, I, I can't remember every last one of them. I'm doing this every day, guys. Give, come on, give me a break. It's right there. You guys can watch it if you want. But I want every cash I own to have a meaning to it. Meaning, if it's gonna pay the bills, if it's gonna feed my family, I want it. But if it's just there for me to save and I ain't doing nothing with it, then of course I'm putting into precious metal. So that means this week, I had tons of cash flooding into my household that I really didn't need. Everything is taken care of, so I put it into precious metals. I only want value cash, all right? Now, I'm not saying, hey, I don't have emergency fund that's value to me, all right? I'm not saying I don't, I don't have like a bank account because that has value as well when it comes to my real estate investment in the near future. Subscribe to the channel to ever see if I make it in that. But yes, I only want valued cash, okay? If it's not valued cash, then I'm turning it into precious metal cash, which is even more valuable than valued cash. But anyways, the last but not least reason. No, that sounds wrong. Last but not least? Yeah, that sounds right now. Last but not least, number five, countries are buying more. In 1972 or 73, Nixon took this off the gold standard. But since then, the US still been buying and right now the US is the number one gold reserve country buyer out there. It doesn't make sense? Sure, it doesn't have to. But just know they have the most gold reserves than any other country in the top 10. Next to India, China, Italy, but they're all buying gold. And in the beginning of this year, they brought more gold than they have within the past couple of years. Why is that? Hmm. Does that mean the Illuminati know something I don't know? Then I should throw a sign up, right? Hopefully that gives me some cool points, right? Just joking, just joking, just joking. This is the Illuminati. I want you to send out a hit for that urban lifestyle guy. He knows too much. Not only is he educating the people about gold and silver, but I think he's on to us as well. Get him. But yeah, countries are buying tons and tons of gold. Hey, who knows? This is my personal reason. Who knows? They might see something that I don't see or they might see something that we none of us see. But I just want to make sure I'm part of it. And that's the reason within the past week I spent over $1,000. And now I know what you guys are saying. $1,000, that's nothing. Of course, I spent that all in one day in Precious Metal as well. But for some reason, the past couple of months, it's not, I haven't made that big of a purchase. Yeah, I'll do 600 here and, and wait another three weeks and then spend another 300 there. But for some reason, I've been very consistent nowadays. And I just wanna let you know why I've been so consistent purchasing precious metals. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys think I'm an idiot. But thank you so much for watching another video of Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a thumbs up, comment on the video below, and don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And I'm out of here, guys. Hey, who are you? The Aluma. Is it done? Good. Hey, that's why.